was I when you found me? Um, right where that car just came through, that first little loop. It's not every day. I'm one of the lucky ones, and she just happened to be there. That you head out for a run and end up saving a man's life. We were headed up the curve in like Dog Hill, and um, I saw a car stop and somebody like walk over and I saw someone laying on the ground. So I yelled at the lady to call nine, that was in her car, I was like, you can call 911 because I didn't have a phone on me and um, felt for a pulse and he didn't have one, so I just started CPR. Elise Hawkins, a registered nurse at Norton Healthcare, just happened to be running at Cherokee Park last spring when she performed hands-only CPR on a complete stranger. I was kind of frustrated, honestly, because I knew what I needed to do, but I didn't have any resources. Jeff Bacchus was the runner that day. He says he doesn't remember much. He's just grateful Elise was there when he collapsed from a heart attack. I can never thank Elise enough for what she did for me that day. You know, it's it, she's my angel. That's what I tell people. She is my angel. Renee Cecil, nurse manager at Norton Audubon Hospital, says learning hands-only CPR is crucial for everyone in the community, not just medical professionals. Hands-only CPR has been found to be just as successful as conventional CPR. Hands-only CPR can double or triple someone's chance of survival. And learning it, she says, is a lot simpler than it sounds. The first thing you want to do is call 911 and then get in the center of the chest, push hard and fast until help arrives. You can also sing to the song, Staying Alive. Elise says chest compressions were the only thing keeping Jeff alive in the park that day. It was allowing his heart to perfuse through the body, so as long as your heart's pumping, you know, you have a chance. Don't remember any pain or anything. In Jeff's case, he said he felt normal the morning before he collapsed. Renee says there are early heart attack signs to watch for. Early symptoms include feeling a fullness, some fatigue, um, maybe some weakness. A lot of times it's mid shoulder blade pain in the center of their back. That's not traumatic. They haven't fallen or had any injuries. Sometimes it is jaw pain. Sometimes it is bilateral arm pain as well. It's been a year since Elise and Jeff met so unexpectedly. Now they stay in touch and even train together, all because of a simple CPR method and willing hands. Learn it and Hopefully you never have to use it, but I, you know, if, if you know how to use it, then maybe you, know, you can save somebody like me. If you would like this presentation at your organization or your facility, you can contact me, Renee Cecil, at 502-544-5589.